So one of the most misunderstood and little used cuts of venison is the flank steak. It comes from either side of the, the stomach here between the ribs and the, uh, where the insides of the back leg start. It's a really thin flap, lots and lots of connective tissue, and it's a really, really grainy meat, meaning that um, you know, the, uh, the meat fibers are, are very pronounced and can be really tough because that, that, those side muscles do a lot of work for the deer. So you've got this flap and you want to start with trimming off any fat and connective tissue, cleaning up any, uh, anything left over from your field dressing. And what we want to do is be left with some really nice but thin um, cuts out of this guy. So the silk connective tissue on both sides is pretty pronounced but easy enough to follow along and just remove with your knife, get, get it started, get under it, and just work it off of the, uh, of the meat. It doesn't always want to cooperate really well, but you know, take your time and, and work through it and try to understand the cut, you know, how it comes together and how it comes apart. Getting all that off of there is going to help us make a great meal out of this. So what we're going to prepare today with this venison flank steak are some lettuce wraps. Now you may maybe have had these at, uh, at an Asian restaurant or even some contemporary type of bistro, but you take the uh, fresh cup of iceberg lettuce and today we're gonna fill them with uh, some seasoned cooked uh, jasmine, jasmine rice and then we're gonna have our flank steak. Now it's pretty clean, this section anyhow. We're gonna cut it across, we're gonna marinate the flank steak, we're gonna sear it in a skillet and then we're gonna put that on top of the, the rice in a lettuce cup with some uh, pickled vegetables on top, and I promise you it's gonna be a tasty little treat. So we're just gonna finish up with the flank. We're gonna cut it into thin strips across the grain, just like that, and then we're gonna marinate these guys. We're gonna cook them in the, uh, in the saute pan, and we're gonna make some great tasting venison lettuce wraps. You're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors, and remember, always eat what you kill.